Yo, Geek Stitcher Stitcher here, coming at you with some Minecraft Survival 1.8. So, uh, episode 9. So, let's get started. I really want to get into this because, yeah. Okay, so basically, some things I've done off screen have been this Nether Warp farm. I did. It. I made a brewing stand because I got a blaze rod. I uh, organized a bit of my inventory. Went mining a bit uh, as well. Killed some shit. Did some shit. Don't don't listen to that last part. I didn't actually do shit. That's kind of gross. Why would I do shit? I don't know. I'm Devin. I'm kind of weird like that. Anyways, moving on. So, not to be any more awkward about it, but welcome back, guys. Um, yeah, last episode I got. I really wanted to take a break from this for a little bit because after that whole um, after the whole blaze rod thing, I just kind of got really salty and I stopped. I actually after that video, I turned off. Minecraft for the day like I didn't do anything off camera I just went straight to Minecraft and I left the world alone for a couple days I just stopped playing it for a little bit I was like oh, I was so salty I just didn't want to go back and then I get back and I start making my nether war farm and I'm in the middle of building it you know and then I turn around as a building it there's just a creeper that comes out of nowhere so that's why I have these doors and that's why I have these doors because now I've kind of learned to block it all off. And uh, we're going to start smelting some ores. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Anyways, guys. So, actually, what we're going to do is since now... Uh, so, now with that, we have enough coal. Let's just put... It Listen, listen. Okay, boom, boom. Alright. So, and then now we're going to make more for when I go mining. Uh, fuck. Uh, fortunately, we didn't find any, I didn't find any more diamonds, which really saddened me a bit. And, uh, yeah. But we did find more redstone. Uh, actually, I don't think I ever mined, I just mined some of the redstone, I guess. Never actually made it. Huh. Uh, found some in death site. It's just in death site though. Don't really care about it. <sighs> Anyways, so yeah, I did some thing off I did some things off screen, as you can clearly tell. It was kind of interesting. Uh what blocks were down here? Oh, netherrack. I have a lot of netherrack. Okay, anyways guys, so Yeah, how you all doing? This mighty fine, whatever time of day it is for you. Um, I'm going to show you other things I've done off screen because I've done actually quite a few things. Uh, fuck, oh, skeleton burned to death. Okay. Uh, but I've made, I haven't made, I haven't done anything to the farm. However, the cow farm has gotten bigger. It's, yeah, it's just bigger, a lot more cows. I also had a, a fucking, yes, a fucking pen. I've acted, well, I mean, these things do fuck each other, not the way you think. But I learned something about rabbits, or bunnies in this, in Minecraft. Uh, they don't actually, at least from what I've seen, like, every time I made them, they didn't get, they didn't touch faces like the other mobs do. They, like, they could be, like, two blocks away from each other, and still, like, they don't even have to be facing one another. And they'll just make a, one of them makes a baby, and I'm like, what? I'm like, what? Okay. Like, that happened to me. I, I'm not making this up, guys. Anyways, so, yep, and a chicken pen as well. Hoping that none of these chickens actually get out. Because um, if they did, that'd be really bad. Uh, let's just see if we can uh, hatch any eggs. Okay, there we go. So, and then I got a horse. I'm not sure if he's still alive. Uh, okay, he is alive. We're going to make him a pen real quick. Just because we can. I'm going to eat some steak. Uh, yep. Okay. 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 We're going to make him a pen real quick. Uh, alright. So, let's go make him a pen. And then, uh, we'll ride him into it. Uh, it'll just be, like, right over here. It doesn't have to be anything major. It just has to be kind of, like, a pen. I forgot to grab a, uh, forgot to grab a, uh, I forgot to grab, uh, gates. I forgot to grab gates. Okay, where are the gates? There they are. Uh, okay. 
So, I'm trying to make this episode a bit quick because um, I, know, I just wanted to be a bit quick. And uh, I wanted to talk about something. I wanted to talk about. Uh, let's, I'm gonna do like. I, I'm just. I'm just gonna talk about something. You know, just like a normal YouTuber should. I'm just gonna talk about stuff. You know, I'm gonna actually create conversation. I know, right? It's so hard. Anyway, so today's topic. Today's topic is Pokemon Go. And yes, I know you guys are probably sitting there listening and stuff and you're probably thinking to yourselves I'm tired of hearing about Pokemon Go it's everywhere it's all over my social media for those that have social media yes it's everywhere it's everywhere on social media and you just it's something we can't escape unfortunately but it's not really one of those bad things that you hate seeing on social media it's actually Pokemon Go what I want to talk about is why Pokemon Go is good in my opinion Pokemon Go is good for a few reasons. Well, and it's also bad for a few reasons. Pokemon Go is good because it just Pokemon is one of the is the, one of Nintendo's best-selling uh, series ever, like that they've ever made. It's one of the best for sure, hands down. Pokemon, I think Pokemon is the best-selling franchise. I think. Don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. You guys could look up the statistics. I don't know the statistics right off the top of my head. I'm probably wrong. Uh, but you guys get the point. Pokemon, is it sells extremely well considering. And um, Pokemon sells extremely well considering. And um, Pokemon Go is just, Pokemon Go did very well. It's already, it's probably already made a lot, a huge amount of like in-game money. Uh, due to it, like, that you need to buy coins, uh, in order, that, due to you can buy coins, so you can get, um, you know, incense, lucky eggs, pokeballs, uh, potions, uh, inventory, uh, modifiers, and stuff like that, you know, that fun stuff, um, but, uh, yeah, that's not the main reason why I am doing that. That's not the main reason why I'm talking about this. So, another reason it's good is because just... Not only because it's based... Not only because it's part of the franchise. One of the best-selling franchise. If not the best-selling franchise of Nintendo. That they have in their arsenal. Ugh. I wanted to make this because... Uh, I don't know. I've been playing Pokemon Go quite a bit. Not as much as other people. Other people are insanely good at the game. And uh, they know all sorts of tips and tricks. Which, by the way, you guys, I would recommend you guys go check out some tips and tricks for Pokemon Go. Uh, I'll tell you guys some things that maybe you don't know. So, some things you might not know about Pokemon Go. Basically. One thing maybe you don't know about Pokemon Go is uh, the evolutions, How to get them. Some of you are probably sitting there like... Oh, Devin, it's so obvious. Oh, Ginger Central, why why are you so dumb? It's kind of obvious. Why do you think people don't know these things? It's because they really don't. Some people just don't know these things. And even by the time they see this video, because I'm a very unpopular channel, by the time they see this video, they probably will know already. So what's the point of me saying it? Because I can, as a friendly reminder. For those of you who don't know, for those of you who are just wanting a friendly reminder, for those of you who just want to hear me sound like an idiot, you just have to name, if you want a Vaporeon, name it Rainer. If you want a Jolteon, name it Sparky. If you want a Flareon, name it uh, uh, Pyro. And the reason of this is because it's based off in the anime Season 1. There were a group of brothers called the Eevee Brothers. Now, Eevee Brothers, the whole episode was based off these brothers, these older brothers and a little brother. Uh, the younger brother had just an Eevee. As you could tell, the older brothers each had a Vaporeon, Flareon, Jolteon. They all had, they each had one of those. The trainers, the trainers' names were Pyro, Sparky, Rainer. So, it's a little Easter egg that Nintendo added to the game. And it's kind of, it's kind of nice in my opinion. Just, it kind of fits. And that's, it kind of like, it just goes back to its roots. That's the thing, like. That's how it should be, and uh, uh, I know the game has a lot of bugs, and I'm hoping that they fix them in the future, because for now, it seems like Nintendo's more focused on mainly adding more content to make the game 
uh, better, but personally, I feel like, in my opinion, Gen 1, since Gen 1, in my opinion, is my favorite generation of Pokemon, I can deal with Gen 1 Pokemon for a while. I don't necessarily need to move on yet. I don't really care. I mean, yeah, but, 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 hear me out before you go yelling at me through your computer. But, they need to get these bugs fixed before they can move on, in my opinion. And the reason for that is, is because it's just that there have been some bugs popping up recently and stuff, so... Again, this is stuff you may not know, but bugs like your Pokeball freezes and then you have to restart your game, or your or your character stops moving and you have to restart your game, or the Poke Stop or a Poke Stop isn't working at all for you and you have to restart your game. These bugs may have occurred to you at least once, and there are probably many more bugs that I haven't heard of or I haven't listed. If that is the case, you guys can go ahead and tell each other down in the comments. And uh, let each other know, you know, help the community better. Help the community be better. Yeah, that's, yeah, I need to be better at grammar. Anyways. Ugh, so Pokemon Go, let's get to my opinion. Pokemon Go is an amazing game. In my opinion, the best mobile app that has ever come out. Ever. In all the years of smartphones, in all the years of phones having games, Pokemon Go is the best one in my opinion just because like ratings like ratings the amount of players on it daily hourly it's insane like i swear to god it's more than candy crush <laughs> and that's really saying something it, it honestly is it's sad because candy crush isn't that great of a game that's my opinion though i won't judge you guys if you have different opinions uh you can go ahead and voice your opinions down in the comments I don't care. I'll like it if you voice your opinion. If you voice your opinion, I'll like your comment. I'll like your comment. Even if you're hating on my opinion, I'll just, I'll like it. I'm not even joking. Go ahead, do it. You think I won't? You think I have no balls? I'll fucking do it. Anyways, guys, so, Pokemon Go, the reason I feel like it's the best app known to come out is because, well, yeah, a lot of players play it daily, hourly, you know, there's just so many people, not to mention it can make a lot of money. Because the game, after a while, it can't. Because the game gives you an option to buy more Pokeballs, more incenses, more lucky eggs, more lures. You know, uh, make, uh, make your bags bigger, make your Pokemon holder bigger. You know, stuff like that. It gives you that opportunity to do that earlier by spending real life money to buy in-game currency which I believe are just pokey coins or whatever something like that and uh yeah fuck <laughs> I don't know uh, but yeah and then there's also fuck yeah I'm just keep drawing a blank whenever I think of something Oh yeah, also, it brings people together, because Pokemon Go is the, it's basically the, it's like the first popular app that makes you go outside and play. And if you guys have any arguments to that or any objectives, go ahead and comment down below if I, in case, have not heard of these games. Oh god. Oh. Sorry about that yawn, guys. I will try not to do that anymore during videos. I was just really tired today. Considering I got three hours of sleep last night. Yeah, I'm not feeling super great right now. In terms of being awake. So after this video, I'm probably going to go lay down. Not even gonna, not even lying. I'll probably go lay down after this. I'm extremely tired. I need sleep. And, uh, I'd rather take my chances going down here. Ah, so anyways, guys, Pokemon Go is my favorite app of all time. It's actually, no, that's actually really hard for me to say because a few months back, uh, a game for Kingdom Hearts on the mobile came out, came out, Kingdom Hearts Unchained X came out in April. It was like very late April. 
and uh, or it was early April, I can't remember, I'm pretty sure it was late April, and um, I've been playing it, like, I try to play it once every day, and uh, I'm gonna stop doing that, and uh, so yeah, it's a tie between to those two, because I am a huge Kingdom Hearts fan, I've played almost every single Kingdom Hearts game, sadly I didn't ever get the opportunity to beat them, I beat I think I've been a couple, yeah, I've been like a couple of them, and I've gone very close to beating a couple of them. So, but, it's like, to the ones I haven't completed, I at least know the ending to them, and I already know what's gonna happen. So, it's like I've already been the game. If you look at it that way. Anyways, sorry to get really off topic there. Ugh. That was bothering me. That bothers me too. So. Back to Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go has done so well so far. For only being out for like a few weeks. It's done extraordinary well. Fantastically. It has like a shit ton of downloads. I don't even remember the number off the top of my head. Someone told me earlier today that it was like 10 million. That seemed like a kind of a bit much. But not really at the same time. Just with how big Pokemon Go is. Like, even people, I've met people in the, I've met people outside who aren't even really huge Pokemon fans, who are just casual p Pokemon players. You know, they don't care about the typings, they don't care how high their CP are. You know, they don't, ugh, voice cracks. They don't care about any of that, but yet they still play the game. There are lots of people playing, and it's amazing. The game, not touching the game, as I was just mentioning, brings people together. Just earlier today, me and my buddy Eli, we were walking, we were on a bus, and there were these two guys that played Pokemon Go, and we started a conversation with one of them. We were talking to them on the bus for, like, almost, an, for almost 40 minutes. And mostly just about Pokemon Go. Like, yeah, it may have been about Pokemon Go, but still got us to talk to each other. If we had been on that same bus with that same guy, and we, none of us, and Pokemon Go wasn't out, we would not have talked to him. We wouldn't have. Or the other guy, either. But we also got to make some, it's like, because we got to make some good chuckles and stuff. You know, we just got to have fun. We got to talk. We got to just joke around. We got to, like, talk about, like, Pokemon journeys, Pokemon experiences we've had. Pokemon we've caught, all that fun stuff. Pokemon Go just brings people together and it forces you to go outside. And Pokemon Go can honestly, I think it's going to maybe not decrease the rate of obesity by a lot, but it de could decrease it a little bit. Obesity is a huge problem these days. More so, I believe in America it's more of a problem than anywhere else in the world. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. Again, I'm not 100% sure about these statistics. I'm saying this now, I'm never 100% positive about these things. And I recommend you go look them up instead of listening to my dumbass talk about them. And why you're watching the vid- and you're probably wondering, then Devin, what's the point of me watching this video? It's because you clicked on the video yourself. You chose to watch this. So, my fault? No. Your fault? Yeah. 100% your fault, really. So, don't blame me for your life problems. It's not a good idea. <sighs> uh, sorry, it's just, I really kind of want, I've been wanting to voice out my opinion of Pokemon Go because I've heard, I've seen like reviews online of and videos online of people's parents just hating the game and blaming the game for if anything goes wrong like this girl was crossing a busy street while playing pokemon go and she got hit by a car and her mom instantly blamed pokemon go instantly that is actually no this makes me mad and mo mostly for one reason the game literally before you start it Literally, as you load it up, for God's sakes, it says, be alert of your surroundings, you know? It says, be careful, stay alert of what's going on around you. It literally says, you know, to be aware of your surroundings. 
you guys think I'm wrong. Go load if you never paid attention to the loading screen, go boot up your game right now and pay hella close attention to it. Just do it. Just just do it. I I'll be right here. Um running away from these mobs. You just gotta do that. Alright. So uh, kind of oh this is a ravine. Anyways. So yeah, it's not the app. It's literally just the stupidity of the people not paying attention. That girl Honestly, it's just she wasn't being aware. She wasn't... It's just like because it's like, oh, some people could argue like, oh, then maybe the game should be like that. There has to be a warning. Lots of things have warnings, yet we still use them. It's like... <sighs> okay, good thing I blocked that. I probably would have died if I didn't block that. Ah, my dog's barking. Oh, my torch. <sighs> right to the zombie. He, he, he just grabbed his... Oh, God, he's shoveling me. Oh, God, he's digging me. I did three hearts of damage. So many of you zombies, honestly. Oh, God. Oh, God. Haha, -ha, get out, play, kid. Anyways, so, I keep cutting myself off. Okay. Anyways, so, back to my point. Pokemon Go is not the source of your problems, adults. Please, do not blame the game. Seriously, that's a terrible thing to do. Literally, blame the person. Be right back. Alright, I'm back. Anyways, so yeah, please, adults, do not blame the game f for, you know, things that happen that your child really should have paid it more attention to. Considering if the game is, you know, if they're decent enough to warn you, maybe you should actually heed the warning. Maybe you should actually pay attention. It's really not that hard. It's not a big deal to actually try this. I do this all the time when I go out and play. Like, yeah, sometimes I still occasionally do almost run into things, but I pay more attention than I do almost get hit. Honestly, and my friends do it too. And I'm, Unfortunately, me and my friends don't help each other out when we're almost running into things, but that's just because we want to see each other get hurt. It's kind of it's kind of messed up, I know, but that, that's our humor. It's kind of funny at the same time, though. Anyways... Ugh. Ah. So, yeah, I'm just tired of adults blaming this game, this game, for no reason at all. They would say, like, harms, that it's harming people. It's not harming anyone. It's, the game itself is not physically harming anyone. And there's no actual evidence you can, there's no actual evidence you could have to say that the game is hurting people. There's no, there's like no factual evidence because a game cannot physically hurt you. And it cannot mentally hurt you either because if you get angry at the game, that's kind of your fault. That means you have a low tolerance, that, that means you have a low temper, it means you have a low tolerance for that kind of thing. It doesn't, it doesn't make the game bad, it just, well not bad per se, it doesn't not make the game bad, but it doesn't make the game worse than what you already anticipated as. I mean, you can't just hate a game just because you think uh, it just, you know, just because you think it just phys that it, like emotionally hurts people. No. If something emotionally hurts you, it's honestly nothing's fault, really. Just your, you've got only yourself to blame because, again, a lot of this is just based on um, it's just a lot of times it's based on your tolerance level tolerance level for these kinds of things. Sorry, I have something in the back of my throat and it's really annoying. It's not a dick either for those of you who have dirty minds. Okay, so I've walked into a really big cave. I'm getting some good knockback on this. There's a skeleton over there. Okay. Ow. Okay, ah, uh, fuck. 
Okay, I think I'm going to end the episode off here soon. Because, yeah, I'm getting low on health. And, uh, just because I probably should this episode. I don't know. I feel like I got to voice my opinion and kind of get it out there. Let you guys know how I feel about Pokemon Go. The fact that I play it. And the fact that I love Pokemon Go. And the fact that Pokemon Go is not a bad app. In fact, I think it's one of the best apps out there in the world. Better than Candy Crush. Better than anything. That is just my opinion. I want you guys to kind of comment your opinions down below as well. You can do that if you want. Again, your personal, your choice. And I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to hate you for your opinion. I can't say your opinion is wrong. But I can say your opinion is just ignorant. Uh, yeah. I can say your opinion is ignorant, basically. That's about it. I can't say your opinion is wrong. Can't say your opinion is, well, wrong. Okay. <sighs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can hit that like button. If you didn't like it, you can hit the dislike button. I don't care. It's your choice. And if you want, and if you want to see more of my videos and help my channel grow all together, you can hit that subscribe button there below the title on the left side. And, well, if you guys want to help my channel grow even further, go ahead and share this video to a lot, to your friends and family and strangers alike. Uh, shoving your phones, computers right in their faces, yelling at them to look me up. Anyways, guys, all... I hope you all have a fabulous day, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye.